Okay, so this is going to be a quick video. I want to go through uh, we're, what we're going to do is um, starting this week is we're going to do a uh, an exercise, a couple exercises with SAP. All right, so we talked about right before we went on break. We you know we did a, uh, a review of ERP systems. SAP is uh, as we'll explain as we go through it is an actual real live ERP system. So in order to do this, we're going to have a account. Um, you need to, uh, we have accounts set up on the system for us. Okay. So what I'm going to walk you through real quick here is, uh, the steps we have to follow to log on. All right. So I've got right here, a list of everybody's, um, in the class and the account ID you should use. Okay. So this number, is important because as I'll explain, the uh, the way we're logged into the system, the test data they have set up is key to uh, this number. All right, so what you'll see is um, when we log on to the system, there'll be certain places in the exercise where um, you'll see like a double pound sign in the, uh, in the documentation. You need to put in your number. All right, so for Niall, it'll be 68. For Cameron 69, for Brandon 70, so on and so forth. Okay, the system itself, the SAP system, is actually in Prague, all right, and we're going to get to it over the internet. So this is the URL. Actually, you can click it from here. All right, and let me make sure I got this my information here. So this is the this is gonna be this is my account those the FS's are yours uh, let's see if I can get on this I had some adventures with this now there's a, a little bit of a trick with this so you want to watch carefully all right um, if you'll see there's this would it call something called a client so there's a couple numbers up here client number system number um, those are actually some some things that are specific to SAP so what happens is they, the way these systems are set up is they have multiple working environments. So the working environment we're going to go to is going to be uh, number 460. This is basically just a, um, you know, a, a, a system we're going to connect into. All right. Uh, let's click here. So this should take you on the web. All right. And actually, I'm actually already logged on. It's all right. So what you should get is, all right, let me log off and I'll come back in again. Yes, I do. All right, so I'm going to come back in. Let me go back out to this document. And I'm going to click this. And we need to remember client 460. All right, so I'm going to click this. Oh, I'm still letting me get in. All right, that's different okay um all right so anyway what what you can all right let me kind of explain what you will get the first time you log in um the first time you log in what you'll see is a login screen It'll pop up to a login screen and there'll be um on the login screen what you'll see is you'll see a field there's like a lot a little login menu and it'll ask you for the client all right which is this number right here so it'll be a client and the username and password so the thing is you don't want it you don't need to enter the username or password here all right but you do need to enter the client number and then click at the bottom of the, and then click at the uh, on the log on what that will do is that will take you to the system and that will um, allow you to enter the username here and the initial password. So the initial password is fitter3. All right. Now the way the system is set up is it will automatically uh, ask you to change your password. So make you know make it a point when you when you log on to whatever password you use, make it simple or something you're going to remember uh, that you can log back in. All right, so make that change. It'll ask you for the current password, which is fitter3. Uh, make sure you put it in all uppercase. Fitter3, and then um, whatever your new password is. Make sure you, you have what that is. And then once you, 
when you, when you do that, you should be able to get on to the system. All right, and the system will actually look, this is so we were just looking at it here. Um, so I'm gonna mail you this document here, so you'll see this and, and uh, be able to post the video, but if I click this, it'll let me go through. This is the actual SAP system. All right, so this is the, you know, this is what we'll be working with here. And we actually have a two working documents. All right, so one is um, the first one we're going to do is the order sales order processing. All right, so just to show you what this will look like, and this will be up. I'm, I'm going to mail this out to everybody, and then I'm also going to post it up on the class site. So the sales order processing is we're going to execute what we call an order to cash process. All right, so the, you know, the stuff at the beginning here kind of explains the issues around the, there's a hundred uh, copies of the data. You need to be aware of your data set number. All right, this is say an upper case. Critically, you only use your data, all right? All right, um, all right, so, and what we will do, so we're gonna do this in class together. All right, on starting on Friday, we'll go as far as we can go. And then, you know, whatever we don't do, we can you, you can complete it during the week. And then next week, we'll look at the uh, procure to pay. So there's two sets of processes we're going to walk through with this. We'll give you some hands on um, some, some hands on exposure to the systems. OK, but basically what we will do is we will walk through step by step following the instructions on this. All right. So you can actually take a look at the document, read through it, kind of get you know get a, a sense of what um, what's going on. Now we're this is going to be pretty detailed. This is we're, we'll be operating at a pretty low detail here. There, I'll be before we begin on Friday. I'm going to walk through uh, kind of the high end of the process, kind of the the, the, the macro view of this. And then, you know, when we're operating within this, we're going to see this at, at, at kind of the operational kind of at the, at the low level, actually in the, you know, kind of in the, um, you know, in the belly of the beast, as it were. All right. So, um, so basically what you need, just to repeat again, what you need to do is, um, and if you could do it before Friday, that'd be good, because I think that will give us a, uh, kind of a sense of what we've, um, a sense of what we've got here. Hang on a second. Okay, so what you need to do is click this link here, which will take you to a login screen. Make note of the client number. All right, fill in the client number and click in the, the login and it will come it should come back with a username and password the username will be this fs number and remember your two digit number here and the password the initial password will be capitals fitter three f-i-t-t-e-r three all right and then uh, it will prompt you to change your password and then you'll use the new password moving ahead all right, so uh, take a look at it. You, uh, you know, we're kind of, uh, as I said, we'll be we'll be going over this on Friday in detail. But I just wanted to give this to you now, and uh, so we can get uh, get lined up to uh, work on this on Friday. All right, that's it for now.